Greetings friends of the universe. Today I'm going to share with you Nikola Tesla's most extraordinary interview, hidden for 116 years. In this interview, Mr. Tesla shares his view on the universe, the energy all around us, and the spiritual power of humans. Let's start. Nikola Tesla is considered one of the most innovative and mysterious men who ever lived on Earth. He was a man way ahead of his time and is responsible for most of the technology we use today. In fact, if Tesla hadn't invented and researched everything he did in his time, our technology today would be considerably worse. Tesla's inventions went far beyond electricity. He made all kinds of groundbreaking discoveries. Here is one very rare interview, hidden, for nearly 116 years. Futurists say that the 20 and 21st century was born in head of Nikola Tesla. They celebrate conversely magnetic field and sing hymns to induction's engine. Their creator was called the hunter, who caught the light in his net from the depths of the earth, and the warrior, who captured fire from heaven father of alternating current will make the physics and chemistry dominate half the world. Industry will proclaim him as their supreme saint, a banker for the largest benefactors. In the laboratory of Nikola Tesla, for the first time, is broken at him. There is created a weapon that causes the earthquake vibrations. There are discovered black cosmic rays. Five races will pray to him in the temple of the future because they had taught a great secret that impedicles of elements can be watered with the life forces from the ethers. Yes, these are some of my most important discoveries. I'm a defeated man. I have not accomplished the greatest thing I could. What is it Mr. Tesla? I wanted to illuminate the whole earth. There is enough electricity to become a second sun. Light would appear around the equator, as a ring around Saturn. Mankind is not ready for the great and good. In Colorado Springs, I soaked the earth by electricity. Also, we can water the other energies, such as positive mental energy. They are in the music of Bach, or Mozart, or in the verses of great poets. In the earth's interior, there are energy of joy, peace, and love. Their expressions are a flower that grows from the earth, the food we get out of her, and everything that makes man's homeland. I've spent years looking for the way that this energy could influence people. The beauty and the scent of roses can be used as a medicine, and the sun rays as a food. Life has an infinite number of forms, and the duty of scientists is to find them in every form of matter. Three things are essential in this. All that I do is a search for them. I know I will not find them, but I will not give up on them. What are these things, Mr. Tesla? One issue is food. What a stellar or terrestrial energy to feed the hungry on earth. With what wine watered all thirsty so that they can cheer in their heart and understand that they are gods. Another thing is to destroy the power of evil and suffering, in which man's life passes. They sometimes occur as an epidemic, in the depths of space. In this century, the disease had spread from earth, in the universe. The third thing is, is there an excess light in the universe? I discovered a star, that by all the astronomical, and mathematical laws, could disappear, and that nothing seems to be modified. This star is in this galaxy. Its light can occur in such density that fits into a sphere smaller than an apple or heavier than our solar system. Religions and philosophies teach that man can become the Christ, Buddha, and Zoroaster. What I'm trying to prove is wilder and almost unattainable. This is what to do in the universe, so every being is born as Christ, Buddha, or Zoroaster. I know that gravity is prone to everything you need to fly, and my intention 
not to make flying devices, aircraft or missiles, but teach individual, to regain consciousness, on his own wings. Further, I am trying to awake the energy, contained in the air. There are the main sources of energy. What is considered as empty space, is just a manifestation of matter, that is not awakened. No empty space on this planet, nor in the universe. In black holes what astronomers talk about, are the most powerful sources of energy, and life. On the window of your room, in Hotel Valdorf Astoria, on the 33rd floor, every morning, the birds arrive. A man must be sentimental towards the birds. This is because of their wings. Humans had them once, the real and visible. You have not stopped flying, since those distant days in Smilyan. I wanted to fly from the roof, and I fell. Children's calculations, could be wrong. Remember, the youth wings, have everything in life. Have you ever married? It is not known, that you have affection for love, or for a woman. Photos from the youth, show you were a handsome man. Yes, I did not. There are two views, a lot affection, or not at all. The center serves to rejuvenate human race. Women for certain people, nurtures and strengthen its vitality, and spirit. Being single, does the same to other people. I chose the second path. Your admirers are complaining, that you are attacking relativity. Your assertion is strange, that the matter has no energy. Everything is imbued with energy, where is it? First was energy, then matter. Mr. Tesla, it's like when you said, that you were born by your father, and not on you. Exactly. What about the birth of the universe? Matter is created from the original, and eternal energy, that we know as light. It shone, and there have been a pure star, the planets, man, and everything on the earth, and in the universe. Matter is an expression, of infinite forms of light, because energy is older than it. There are four laws of creation. The first, is that the source of all the baffling, dark plot, that the mind cannot conceive, or mathematics measure. In that plot, fit the whole universe. The second law, is spreading a darkness, which is the true nature of light, from the inexplicable, and it's transformed into the light. The third law, is the necessity of the light, to become a matter of light. The fourth law, is no beginning, and no end. Three previous laws, always take place, and the creation, is eternal. In the hostility, to the theory of relativity, you go so far, that you hold lectures, against its creator, at your birthday parties. Remember, it is not curved space, but the human mind, which cannot comprehend infinity, and eternity. If relativity has been clearly understood by its creator, he would gain immortality, even yet physically, if he is pleased. I am part of a light, and it is the music. The light fills my six senses. I see it, hear, feel, smell, touch, and think. Thinking of it, means my sixth sense. Particles of light, are written note. A bolt of lightning, can be an entire sonata. A thousand balls of lightning, is a concert. For this concert, I have created a ball lightning, which can be heard on the icy peaks of the Himalayas. About Pythagoras, and mathematics, a scientist may not, and must not infringe of these two. Numbers and equations, are signs, that mark the music of the spheres. If Einstein had heard these sounds he would not create theories of relativity. These sounds, are the messages to the mind, that life has meaning that the universe exists in perfect harmony, and its beauty, is the cause and effect of creation. This music, is the eternal cycle of stellar heavens. The smallest star, has completed composition, and also, part of the celestial symphony. The man's heartbeats, are part of the symphony on the earth. Newton learned that the secret, is in geometric arrangement, and motion of celestial bodies. He recognized, that the supreme law of harmony, 
exists in the universe. The curved space is chaos, chaos is not music. Einstein is the messenger, of the time of sound and fury. Mr. Tesla, do you hear that music? I hear it all the time. My spiritual ear, is as big as the sky we see above us. My natural ear, I increased by the radar. According to the theory of relativity, two parallel lines, will meet in infinity. By that, Einstein's curve will straighten. Once created, the sound lasts forever. For a man, it can vanish, but continues to exist in the silence. That is man's greatest power. No, I have nothing against Mr. Einstein. He is a kind person, and has done many good things, some of which will become part of the music. I will write to him, and try to explain, that the ether exists, and that its particles, are what keep the universe in harmony, and the life in eternity. Tell me please, under what conditions, angel adopt on the earth? I have ten of them. Keep good records vigilant. I will document all your words dear Mr. Tesla. The first requirement, is a high awareness of its mission, and work to be done. It must, if only dimly, exist in the early days. Let us not be falsely modest. Oak, knows that it is oak tree, a bush beside him, being a bush. When I was twelve, I have been sure I will get to Niagara Falls. For most of my discoveries, I knew in my childhood, that I will achieve them, although not entirely apparent. The second condition to adapt, is determination. All that I might, I finished. What is the third condition of adjustment Mr. Tesla? Guidance, for all the vital, and spiritual energies in labor. Therefore, purification of the many effects, and needs that man has. I therefore, have not lost anything, but just gained. So I enjoyed every day, and night. Write down, Nikola Tesla was a happy man. The fourth requirement, is to adjust the physical assembly, with a work. What do you mean Mr. Tesla? First, the maintenance of the assembly. Man's body, is a perfect machine. I know my circuit, and what's good for him. Food, what nearly all people eat, to me it is harmful, and dangerous. Sometimes, I visualize that chefs in the world, are all in conspiracy against me. Touch my hand. It is cold. Yes. Bloodstream can be controlled, and many processes, in, and around us. Why are you frightened young man? It's a story, that Mark Twain wrote a mysterious stranger, that wonderful book of Satan, inspired by you. The word Lucifer, is more charming. Mr. Twain likes to joke. As a child, I was healed once by reading his books. When we met here, and told him about, he was so touched, that he cried. We became friends, and he often came to my lab. Once he requested, to show him a machine, that by vibration, provokes a feeling of bliss. It was one of those inventions for entertainment, what I sometimes like to do. I warned Mr. Twain, as not to remain under these vibrations. He did not listen, and stayed longer. It ended by being, like a rocket, holding pants, darted into a certain room. It was a diabolically funny, but I kept the seriousness. But, to adjust the physical circuit, in addition to food, dream is very important. From a long and exhausting work, which required superhuman effort, after one hour of sleep, I'd be fully recovered. I gained the ability, to manage sleep, to fell asleep, and wake up, in the time, which I have designated. If I do something, what I do not understand, I force myself to think about it in my dream, and thus find a solution. The fifth condition of adjustment, is memory. Perhaps in the most people, the brain is keeper of knowledge about the world, and the knowledge gained through the life. My brain is engaged in more important things, than remembering, it is picking what is required, at a given moment. This is all around us. It should only be consumed. Everything that we once saw, hear, 
read and learn, accompanies us in the form of light particles. To me, these particles are obedient and faithful. Goethe's Faust, my favorite book, I learned by heart in German as a student, and now it can all recite. I held my inventions for years in my head, and only then I realized them. You often mentioned the power of visualization. I might have to thank to visualization, for all that I invented. The events of my life, and my inventions, are real in front of my eyes, visible as each occurrence, or the item. In my youth, I was frightened of not knowing what it is, but later, I learned to use this power, as an exceptional talent, and gift. I nurtured it, and jealously guarded. I also made corrections, by visualization, on most of my inventions, and finished them that way. By visualization, I mentally solve complex mathematical equations. For that gift I have, I will receive rank high lama in Tibet. My eyesight, and hearing are perfect, and dare to say, stronger than other people. I hear the thunder, of a hundred fifty miles away, and I see colors in the sky, that others cannot see. This enlargement of vision, and hearing, I had as a child. Later, I consciously developed. In youth, you have several times been seriously ill. Is it a disease, and a requirement to adapt? Yes. It is often the result of a lack of exhaustion, or vital force, but often the purification of mind and body, from the toxins that have accumulated. It is necessary, that a man suffers from time to time. The source of most disease, is in the spirit. Therefore, the spirit can cure most diseases. As a student, I got sick of cholera, which raged in the region of Lika. I was cured because my father finally allowed me to study technology, which was my life. Illusion for me, was not a disease, but the mind's ability, to penetrate beyond the three dimensions of the earth. I had them all my life, and I have received them, as all other phenomena around us. Once, in childhood, I was walking along the river with uncle, and said, From the water will appear the trout. I'll throw a stone, and it is cut. That's what happened. I was in Paris, when I saw my mother's death. In the sky, full of light and music, floated our wonderful creatures. One of them, had a mother's character, who was looking at me, with infinite love. As the vision disappeared, I knew that my mother died. What is the seventh adjustment, Mr. Tesla? The knowledge, of how the mental, and vital energy, transform into what we want, and achieve control over all feelings. Hindus call it Kundalini Yoga. This knowledge can be learned, for what they need many years, or is acquired by birth. The most of them, I acquired by birth. They are in the closest connection, with a sexual energy, that is after the most widespread in the universe. The woman is the biggest thief of that energy, and thus the spiritual power. I've always knew that, and was alerted. Of myself, I created what I wanted, a thoughtful, and spiritual machine. A ninth adjustment Mr. Tesla. Do everything that any day, any moment, if possible, not to forget who we are, and why we are on earth. Extraordinary people who are struggling with illness, privation, or the society which hurts them with its stupidity, misunderstanding, persecution, and other problems, which the country is full of as swamps with insects, leaves behind unclaimed, until the end of the work. There are many fallen angels on earth. What is the tenth adaptation? It is most important. Write that Mr. Tesla played. He played the whole of his life, and enjoyed it. Mr. Tesla, whether it relates to your findings, and your work, is this a game? Yes dear boy. I have so loved to play with electricity. I always cringe, when I hear about the one, also the Greek who stole fire. A terrible story, about studying, 
and eagles peck at his liver. Did Zeus did not have enough lightning, and thunder, and was damaged for one further? There is some misunderstanding. Lightning, are the most beautiful toys that can be found. Do not forget that in your text, stand out, Nikola Tesla was the first man, who discovered lightning. Mr. Tesla, you're just talking about angels, and their adaptation to the earth. Am I? This is the same. You could write this, he dared to take upon himself, the prerogatives of Indrai, Zeus, and Peron. Imagine one of these gods, in a black evening suit, with the bowler hat, and wearing white cotton gloves, prepares lightning, fires, and earthquakes to the New York City elite. Readers love the humor of our paper. But you confuse me, stating that your findings, which have immense benefits for the people, representing the game. Many will frown on it. Dear Mr. Smith, the trouble, is that people are too serious. If they were not, they would be happier, and much longer would have lived. Chinese proverb, says that the seriousness, reduces life. Visiting the inn, Tai guessed that he visits the imperial palace. But that the newspaper readers, would not have frowned, let's get back to things which they consider important. They would love to hear what your philosophy is. Life is a rhythm, that must be comprehended. I feel the rhythm, and direct on it, and pamper in it. It was very grateful, and gave me the knowledge I have. Everything that lives, is related to a deep, and wonderful relationship, man and the stars, amoebas and the sun, the heart and the circulation of an infinite number of worlds. These ties, are unbreakable, but they can be tame and to propitiate, and begin to create new, and different relationships in the world, and that does not violate the old. Knowledge comes from space. Our vision, is its most perfect set. We have two eyes, the earthly, and spiritual. It is recommended, that it become one eye. Universe is alive, in all its manifestations, like a thinking animal. Stone is a thinking, and sentient being, such as plant, beast, and a man. A star that shines, ask to look at, and if we are not a sizable self-absorbed, we would understand its language, and message. His breathing, his eyes and ears of the man, must comply with breathing, eyes and ears of the universe. As you say this, it seems to me, like I hear Buddhist texts, words, or Taoist pairs of Zuza. That's right. This means that there is general knowledge, and truth, that man has always possessed. In my feeling, and experience, the universe has only one substance and one supreme energy, with an infinite number of manifestations of life. The best thing, is that the discovery of a secret nature, reveals the other. One cannot hide, there are around us, but we are blind and deaf to them. If we emotionally tie ourselves to them, they come to us themselves. There are a lot of apples, but one Newton. He asked for just one apple that fell in front of him. A question that might be set at the beginning of this conversation. What was electricity for you, dear Mr. Tesla? Everything is electricity. First was the light, endless source, from which points out material, and distribute it in all forms that represent the universe, and the earth, with all its aspects of life. Black is the true face of light, only we do not see this. It is remarkable grace to man, and other creatures. One of its particles, possesses light, thermal, nuclear, radiation, chemical, mechanical, and an unidentified energy. It has the power, to run the earth with its orbit. It is true Archimedean lever. Mr. Tesla, you're too biased towards electricity. Electricity I am. Or, if you wish. I am the electricity in the human form. You are electricity too Mr. Smith, but you do not realize it. 
is it thus your ability to allow fails of electricity of 1 million volts through your body? Imagine a gardener who is attacked by herbs. This would indeed be crazy. Man's body and brain are made from a large amount energy, in me there is the majority of electricity. The energy that is different in everyone is what makes the human eye or soul. For other creatures, to their essence, soul of the plant is the soul of minerals and animals. Brain function and death is manifested in light. My eyes in youth were black, now blue, and as time goes on and strain, the brain gets stronger, they are closer to white. White is the color of heaven. Through my window one morning, landed a white dove, which I fed. She wanted to bring me a word, that she was dying. From her eyes, the light jets were coming out. Never in the eyes of any creature, had I not seen so much light, as in that pigeon. Personnel in your lab, speak about flashes of light, flames, and lightning that occur, if you are angry, or into kind of risk. It is the psychic discharge, or a warning to be alert. The light was always on my side. Do you know how I discovered the rotating magnetic field, and induction motor, which made me became famous, when I was 26? One summer evening in Budapest, I watched with my friend Sigitijam, the sunset. Thousands of fire, was turning around, in thousands of flaming colors. I remembered Faust, and recited his verses, and then, as in a fog, I saw spinning magnetic field, and induction motor. I saw them in the sun. Hotel service, telling that at the time of lightning, you isolate into the room, and talk to yourselves. I talk with lightning and thunder. With them? What language Mr. Tesla? Mostly my native language. It is the words and sounds, especially in poetry, what is suitable for it. Readers of our magazine would be very grateful if you would interpret that. The sound does not exist only in the thunder and lightning, but in transformation into the brightness and color. A color can be heard. Languages of the words, which means that it is from the sounds and colors. Every thunder and lightning are different and have their names. I call some of them by the names of those who were close in my life, or by those whom I admire. In the sky brightness, and thunder, live my mother, sister, brother Daniel, a poet Jovan Jovanovic, and other persons of Serbian history. Names such as Isaiah, Ezekiel, Leonardo, Beethoven, Goya, Faraday, Pushkin, and all burning fires mark shoals and tangles of lightning, and thunder, which does not stop all night, bringing to the earth precious rain, and burning trees or villages. There is lightning and thunder, and they are the brightest, and most powerful, that will not vanish. They are coming back, and I recognize them among the thousands. For you, science or poetry is the same. These are the two eyes of one person. William Blake was taught that the universe, was born from the imagination, that it maintains, and it will exist as long as there is a last man on the earth. With it was a wheel, to which astronomers can collect the stars of all galaxies. It is the creative energy, identical to the light energy. Imagination, is more real to you than life itself. It gives birth to the life. I have fed by my taught. I've learned to control emotions, dreams, and visions. I have always cherished, as I nurtured my enthusiasm. All my long life I spent in ecstasy. That was the source of my happiness. It helped me during all these years, to bear with work, which was enough for the five lives. The best is to work at night, because the stellar light, and close bond, you said that I am like every being, the light. This flatter me, but I confess, I do not quite understand. Why would you need to understand, Mr. Smith? Suffice it to believe it.
everything is light. In one, its ray is the fate of nations, each nation has its own ray, in what great light source we see as the sun. And remember, no one who was there, did not die. They transformed into the light, and as such, exist still. The secret lies in the fact, that the light particles, restore their original state. This is the resurrection. I prefer to call it, return to a previous energy. Christ and several others, knew the secret. I am searching how to preserve human energy. It is forms of light, sometimes straight like heavenly light. I have not looked for it for my own sake, but for the good of all. I believe that my discoveries, make people's lives easier, and more bearable, and channel them to spirituality, and morality. Do you think that time, can be abolished? Not quite, because the first feature of the energy, is that it transforms. It is in perpetual transformation, as clouds of Taoists. But it is possible to leverage the fact, that a man, preserves consciousness after the earthly life. In every corner of the universe, exist energy of life, one of them, is immortality, whose origin is outside of man, waiting for him. The universe is spiritual, we are only half that way. The universe is more moral than us, because we do not know his nature, and how to harmonize our lives with it. I am not scientist, science is perhaps the most convenient way to find the answer to the question, that always haunt me, and which my days and nights turned into fire. What's the matter? How are your eyes brightened? What I wanted to know, is what happens to a falling star, as the sun goes out. Stars fall like dust, or seed in this, or in other worlds, and the sun be scattered in our minds, in the lives of many beings, what will be reborn as a new light, or cosmic wind, scattered in infinity. I understand that this is necessary included in the structure of the universe. The thing is, though, is that one of these stars, and one of these suns, even the smallest preserves. But Mr. Tesla, you realize that this is necessary and is included in the constitution of the world. When a man becomes concuss, that his highest goal, must be to run for a shooting star, and tries to capture it, shall understand that his life was given to him because of this, and will be saved. Stars will eventually be capable to catch. And what will happen then? The creator will laugh and say, it fall only that you chase her and grab her. Isn't all of this contrary to the cosmic pain, which so often you mention in your writings? And what is it cosmic pain? No, because we are on earth. It is an illness, whose existence the vast majority of people are not aware of. Hence, many other illnesses, suffering, evil, misery, wars, and everything else what makes human life an absurd, and horrible condition. This disease, cannot be completely cured, but awareness shall make it less complicated, and hazardous. Whenever one of my close and dear people were hurt, I felt physical pain. This is because our bodies, are made as of similar material, and our soul, related with unbreakable strands. Incomprehensible sadness, that overwhelmed us at times, means that somewhere, on the other side on this planet, a child, or generous man died. The entire universe is in certain periods, sick of itself, and of us. Disappearance of a star, and the appearance of comets, affect us more than we can imagine. Relationships among the creatures on the earth, are even stronger, because of our feelings and thoughts, the flower will scent even more beautiful, or will fall in silence. These truths we must learn, in order to be healed. Remedy is in our hearts, and evenly, in the heart of the animals that we call the universe. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the notification button to get notified for all our future videos.